Hey everybody, Susanna. Um, hi. I wanted to give you a quick walkthrough. I get this question every so often. I have a Silhouette die cut machine and I absolutely love it. And people ask me all the time, how do you get scanned images and JPEGs basically to cut using your Silhouette? Is it complicated? And the answer is no. But it is a couple step process and I'm going to give you a really quick walkthrough. Um, Bear with me because I haven't done a combo movie like this that has video and screencast and photos in a very long time. It also has voiceover. I'm getting very fancy. Okay, here's my cute little camping album that I did of my son, Eric. And it's by October Afternoon. I bought it at Archivers. And it came with, you know, a handful of pre-die cut pages, but not enough for me. I wanted to be able to cut some out of journaling paper so he could go in and tell his story. So I pulled out this one page right here, and I scanned it with my scanner, and then we'll pick up there with the screencast on what you do and what steps you take from there. See you in the movie portion of the show. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is open Photoshop and you're going to open, create an 8.5 by 11 document and you're going to drag in your scanned image. I'm using Photoshop CS5, you can use whatever. In the layers palette, control click on your um, scanned image, in this case the camper, to select it. You'll see the marching ants all the way around the edge. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the um, tool set and we're going to use our magic wand tool to select all the parts that scanned that we don't want. In this case, there's um, some white space that I want to disappear so I have a transparent background. So um, all you do is you select that with the magic wand tool and hit delete. And now all you're going to have is your regular image. We're going to do the same thing. Control click in the layers palette to select the camper now. And I tried to just um, fill it with black, but it didn't work. It didn't cover all of the image. So I'm going to use just a black brush and go around it and make sure I have a completely solid black outline. Now all I have in relief is the cut image. I'm going to go ahead and save this as a JPEG. And that will be very simple for the um, Silhouette software now to understand. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save as a JPEG and then we'll close out of Photoshop and we'll open up our Silhouette software. So now we're going to open, we're going to navigate to our camper image and for some crazy reason it comes in ginormous in the Silhouette software. So click on your scale tool and this is why we saved it um, onto 8.5 by 11 piece so that we would have it be a true size. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit eight and a half by 11 in my modify um, dimensions box and I'm going to just hit apply and that will shrink the image down to eight and a half by 11. Um, shrunk it all the way down on the bottom right hand corner so I'm going to drag it back up to our work surface and I'm going to turn it 90 degrees so it will fit nicely on my cutting mat. Now the next thing we need to do is find the cut lines. So we're going to click on the trace tool and um, it will say select your cut area. And this is where we'll go around our camper image and it will highlight in yellow the cut lines that it makes. Perfect. Now I'm going to drag off my original image because I don't need that anymore and I'm just going to move it off my work board. Now, for some reason, and I'm sure there's someone smarter than me who can tell me how to fix this, it creates a double cut line. I don't want that. So I'm going to click Release Compound Path. It's going to break all my lines apart. And being careful not to break them all, not to move them from relationship to each other, I'm just going to take the inside lines. I'm going to drag them off. And I'm going to delete them. So that what I'm left with is a single cut file or single cut lines for my camper image. And I'm just doing that for the ring holes and also for all of it. Hit select all, or just drag a box that selects it all and hit group. Now you have one cut file. I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my library because I might use this again 
Now that I have this cut file, I can make these camper shaped albums anytime I want. So I'm just going to create a file name. I'm going to add some keywords that are appropriate. I'm going to add a description. So I'll be able to pull it up later. I'm going to put myself down as the artist because even though I didn't draw this camper, um, I can search for my own name under artists if I have a lot of cut files to sort through and I'll be able to find just the things that I made. I can usually remember those. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, enjoyed this. I'll try and put a few pictures at the end of the slideshow of what the um, end result looks like and you'll be able to see for yourself how easy this is and um, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.